Hey guys, welcome back to another video on My Style Baits. Today we have Chad here giving you guys a boat tour. So he's gonna take us through the boat and all the cool things about it. And then we're gonna do a Q&A at the end. So stay tuned for that guys. And then if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to hop in the comments and answer those questions. So guys, as Sarah was saying, I'm gonna be doing the boat tour. First, it's a 20 footer. Uh, it's a Lumen Weld Adventure. Um, the first starting point is where we're going to go for the bow. So this is our anchor system. We pull it out. Insert it into there. And then your rope stays here. And then once you want to pull it out and release it, you just pull the rope out and it goes down. And then you lock it into place. That little tiny pin. Next is our red and green light. We have some tools, a light, some glasses, and then this one, we have our life preservers, our uh, fire extinguisher, um, we have our first aid kits in here, um, our horns in here as well, and then we got a hose just in case if we're in the salt water and they have fresh water around and we can spray our boat off. After that is our kill box. Well, we don't really use this, um, but we use it for trash. So we put all our trash in here and we take it out at the end of the day. And next we have our seats. Now what's under our seats? Well, let's get into this one. So in here we have uh, flashers. These are our 360 flashers. These are our triangle flashers. And then these are our setups for fishing. As you can see, there's super baits right there. And the next seat, this one. Let's see what's in here. So, it looks like we got some tackle, some chicken of the sea tuna for crabbing and fishing, um, some gloves for crabbing, pulling the pots. We got our gloves as well. And then we got the crab scales as well. The bonker. And then we got some knives and measuring tapes and scissors. And then we also have our binoculars in here as well. I will say that the reason that we have a lot of crabbing stuff in here is because it is not fishing time. It is crabbing time and we're going crabbing tomorrow. So that is why uh, most of the fishing stuff is out of here. Obviously the flashers are still in here, but uh, that's why we have the crab gloves, the scales, and you don't see the crab pots in here, thankfully, because we wouldn't be able to move. But um, yeah so that's why all right next one this one this one we have our rod holders so we have our rod holders we have some paper towels we have our uh, socks that we use for um, anchor fishing to keep us straight uh, that's basically it in this one then our next one we got here is some more life preservers. Um, these are your wearable ones. Um, I have my jacket in here because it was cold today. So then we have our GoPro stuff. Um, we have a couple bags of Ziploc bags and then we also have trash bags under there. And then we have some towels as well. And we also keep a lot of our lights there as well. So that's just under all that. All right guys, next what we keep on our sides. So right here, we keep our stern light and then this is our bow light as well the red and green for starboard and port and then we also have rod holders as well here um, we just store our rods push them into there and they store there pretty well and then on this side we have same thing rod holders as well and then we also have a gaff so when we go crabbing that's what we need to pull the buoys in so that's why we got that so we have four cleats on uh two on each side and then we have one in the bow all right guys the next thing is our fish fighter gear so right here we have our 360 flasher easy in and out storage same for the triangle flasher easy in and out we have our bait tray so our super baits will go in here uh, herring would go in here and then we also have a weight. 
So we just throw that in there. Boom. And then our actual rod holders itself from Fish Fighter. And then we also got our cup holders. So whenever you want to have beverage, just set it right there. And there it is right there. So we got four of these setups. And then we also got two of these setups. So actually I could show you guys. So these are Scotty's. These came with the boat. But you just put it down like that. And there's your rod holder right here. And then we have four of these obviously. And there's two, there's two of those total, one on each side. Next we have our electronics. Right now we are running a Garmin. And then we also have over here our bilge, lights, and then this is our hose as well. And then this shows your fuel. And the plugins as well. For maybe your phone or whatever you want to plug in there. It's our hose. Just a standard hose. This goes through the whole entire length of the boat, so you can spray it all the way to the bow. And then, to turn this all on, here's the switch. This is off, and then this is one battery, this is two battery, and then this is using them both as well. So normally we just use the first battery so far. And then under here is all our batteries, and well, our batteries are actually over here. Alright guys, next is our motors. So, the main motor, we're running a 150 jet, uh, four stroke. And then our kicker is a 9.9 .9 Mercury EFI. Um, EFI is basically, instead of having your manual pull, you actually have a button that starts it. And then, the we have a sink as well. We normally keep just our, you know, soaps and stuff and um, stuff to wipe the boat off as well. All right, you guys, and next we are going to do a little Q&A. I asked you guys on our YouTube community page, um, if you guys don't subscribe to us and don't have the notification bells turned on, please do that so you guys know when we um, have questions for you and you can participate. So, like I said, I uh, asked you guys for questions about our boat, and uh, Chad's going to go ahead and answer those questions. All right, Chad, you ready to answer a bunch of questions that the people want to know? Yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first question is, how big is the gas tank? So, the gas tank holds 40 gallons. All right, and the second question is, what do you like about the boat? So, what I like about this boat is that it's really standard. There's nothing really added into it, so it's a really good starter boat for people that are new. All right, and then what What do you wish the boat had? You know, I wish it had um, a better fish finder. Uh, we are we have a Garmin right now, and I it doesn't read as I want it to read. So, like the fish on the bottom, they don't show as much as other um, fish finders do. So, I wish that we had a better fish finder. What is the capacity of this boat? So the capacity of this boat is five people. Uh, we got four seats and then plus the captain. So we have five total. All right, and then how old is the boat? So we got this back in 2021, so it's about two years old. During the fishing season, how often do you go fishing? So in the fishing season, we normally go Friday through Sunday. So we start on Friday and on Sunday. Awesome. Have you ever played bumper boats with another boat because their people are so close? Um, we've had to push boats off of us before. We never got hit or we never hit anybody else, but we got pretty close sometimes. Have you ever ran out of gas? So yeah, a little quick little story. Um, we were in Astoria and uh, we were running really low on gas, so we had to pull into Hammond. Um, and we docked in Hammond and then we got an Uber over to back to our truck which is in Warrington, and we had to go pick up the boat and get gas in it. So that was the closest. But you've never fully ran out, zero Yeah, we've stuck. never, yeah, we've never ran out, um, yeah. Let's keep it that out. way. Yeah. 
How fast will the boat go with five people in it? So it'll go approximately 30 miles an hour. Nice. All right, you guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you guys uh, enjoyed and got some of your questions answered. We look forward to talking to you guys in future videos and the comments down below. So please, if we missed a question that you guys asked, please let us know down below and we'll get that answered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.